Hey guys, Brockback Man 94 here. I'm going to be reacting to the originals season four, episode six, Bag of Cobras. We're supposed to be civil? Is Marcel know that? <laughs> oh, of course you can't find him. Nah, I ain't inviting you in, homie. Tell me where Marcel is. Detained until we can be sure that he's free of this thing's violent influence. And what about Klaus? You do realize that everyone hates you. But they love Marcel. And as the invite states, he is the co-host. Tonight we celebrate our truce. So you're throwing a fake party in honor of a fake truce, and your guest of honor is in a dungeon. Yep. That's Klaus Michelson for you. This is the history of the city. This is the ebb and flow of violence and tragedy. Look, this is um, Madame LaLaurie. This is uh, the Axeman. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on, and sometimes it's hidden, but if you know what you're looking for, right, there's always a sign that it's the hollow. Ah. And when it does bubble up, it always does so in a pattern of four. Do you find it odd that the Michelsons are hosting a party with Marcel? Because he's locked in a dungeon? Hmm. After Marcel went missing, some construction guys sealed off the tunnels under Rousseau's. So, you know, one plus one was captured. Yeah. Smart. I learned about the man who killed my parents. He was connected to the hollow. I was just a baby when they were killed. I don't remember it, but I, I do know where they were. I was hoping maybe with your spells and your witchcraft you want me to do really Exactly. Really violent death has a very specific energy. Uh, could conjure up whatever there is to see, but you might not like it. I don't think I have a choice. Okay, let's see what went down all those years ago. How the mighty have fallen. How the tables have turned. Hmm. Ultimate karma has been the other way around. How about you and your fancy jacket and tie? Go straight to what goes around. Comes with Oh the blade. I think that fits. Those who care about you would see you free. Threatening my friends, that is that is love. And then there's that girl you've been seeing. Oh, he had a nerve. After all, the more familiar I am with her, the easier it will be to avoid any little misunderstandings. No, planning is scheming. Smart. <laughs> it doesn't show our mercenary friend. Oh, they're in trouble. Oh. Oh. Well, she saw where the keys are. But where are they too? Extra mini, oh, extra room, mini storage. Well, I hang my hopes about the snake in the grass. Death has a snake on his shoulder, and the magician holds him off the serpent. Hmm. So that means I'm going to see somebody who's in the presence of a snake. We find that person. Yeah, the mercenary is talking to that dude. With the, like, I think he had a snake design or something here.
Oh, her nursery. There we go. Well, I thought it was a snake design. This was worse. <laughs> I'm just gonna see the actual snake. No oh, jealous, Freya. <laughs> no, nah, I think he should stay in this room. <laughs> really, you gonna listen to Elijah? Am I supposed to be threatened by that monstrosity on your arm? Yep. We should be. Other than ourselves, the only thing on this planet that can kill you. Your blood, baby. You think so? The thorns of a rose grown from merciless blood and magic, an ancient spirit that hates you as much as I do. Go ahead. Oh my God. See how that works. Uh oh, it's in Teddy. <laughs> because there's something that's hurting kids in my city, and the second that it is gone, I'm gonna make sure that you're gone too. You're True. Sit. You hate me because of what I did to Davina. You know, I can't say I blame you, but the truth is, I did what I needed to do. Really? Yeah, I'm telling. <laughs> oh, I'm usually team Michael Simo. I'm afraid they were shady. What does it want then? No. But in the meantime, take Vincent Griffin as a show of good faith. Yeah. That ain't gonna go down. We need him. I hate vampires. I hate Klaus Michaels if we put any of them. And I'm willing to stand beside him against that thing that you call your master. Did I say something? Now that right there should show you just how bad your master actually is. My offer was a courtesy. The hall will take what it wants. Vincent and Marcel will be ours regardless. No. If you insult us further, we will take your entire family. So are you going to go threaten a man's entire family in front of him like that? <laughs> Expect to live? If he lives next episode or... Or even continues, I'd be surprised. And we already have it. The hollow will not be stopped. Ooh. Remove the scourge from the worlds. I recommend you do the same. Ooh! I called it! <laughs> Oh, Klaus and uh, Venter are pissed off about that. I returned to see her feeding on my sister. The wedding party, my entire family. All dead. I hid what she did. Damn. Exactly what I expected when I invited you to the party. Really? That's kind of for the chorus with your family. Yep. Can't be a Michaelson party if there's at least one or two deaths. Yep. I know, great they're pushing hard on that relationship. The place smelled like sandalwood. And? My friend, Davina. She taught me if you smell that, 
chances are something's cloaked. Which means Marcel's down there. No, uh, now she's gonna go down there herself. We'll bring an army out of it. My parents were killed protecting this from one of the Hollow's followers. We've seen this time and time again. When a witch wishes to be reborn, its remains are required to complete the spell. You've just found a piece of our enemy. Lucky me, who has the other three? Dominic. Dominic said that he had found something here. What? There's just like a bag of bones laying around that I didn't know about? No. But there is one. No. Oh, Papa Tindy's knife! Yup, they took it. They took it. Damn, they brought him back to life? Dominic's death was a distraction. They used their own deception against us. Yup. So, uh... Can I say that this is one of my favorite episodes of the season? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not one of them. Like, we got like, we had work. We came back from a break and, uh, they gave us this. But no, I still kind of liked it though, because it's actually giving us, like, they cool down with, like, oh my gosh moments. Like, settle down, people, settle down. So it's like, alright, they're preparing us for something here. And they kind of told us that, hey, with this hollow, it comes around every, like, few, not a few years, but 50 years or whatever. And it always does, like, these four key events or so, every, like, random places. And, uh, they're also looking for some other things, which is, like, objects of, maybe these, like, relics, apparently. Because Haley's parents were, like, hiding, you know, uh, jaw in a teddy bear. So I was like, what? doing that with that Pierce like yeah that has to be the you know the bones uh but one of many bones of whatever the hollow's original form was at first i'm like okay is this that then if they're looking for other bones what other bones could possibly be papa dune's knife so it's like it can't be papa dune that they bring him back i'm guessing papa dune must have been part of this hollow business because how else like he have that blade for because he's been like using that blade in his rit in his like rituals like i remember in season one was it yeah season one where we actually did see evidence of that so it's like okay he must have been part of that for a while another point in this episode is that i think this is the first episode we did not see hope at all like <laughs> I know she did not get paid. The actress did not get paid for anything at all for that episode, though. But wow, like, first, yeah, basically almost every single episode, we basically kind of seen Hope. Last episode, it was like, we saw her, like, for the beginning of the first episode, and that was it. But here, nothing. It was just that, oh, she's just, you know, with staying with Mary. I'm like, what? That's it? <laughs> no, no, no dream. No, nothing, though. No. But, like, yeah, apparently so. But... Another last point of this episode here is that you kind of see that, you know, Elijah is, is like becoming a little bit more, you know, ruthless Klaus, you know. Looks like, I'm just guessing that he's like, as he said, like being more ruthless and more the executioner of late is because he doesn't want that role to be on Klaus anymore since he's like a father and all. And he wants him to get out of that funk. And like he said, to like freaking, uh, Mar Marcel last week is like first I thought that it was just you that was gonna be the hope to like redeem Klaus but nah it's babe hope so apparently until the day like if hope does die and I I'm not wishing it hopefully I did not just jinx it but if that actually does happen with the hollow does get hope and actually kills her yo no one is safe and freaking New Orleans because he's gonna have his revenge but we actually finally found out uh, Sophia uh, yeah, is it Sophia or Sophia? but yeah it has to be Sophia but she like she cannot be like the next like secondary big bad of this season I'm like oh we finally found out why she's after freaking Klaus is all because of the oh 500 years ago like you gonna kill my family so I want revenge was this like, again, the same thing when it was from Charlie, like, a lot of past villains. I'm like, alright, you're going after Klaus because he freaking killed your fucking family or loved one. I'm like, 
do something a little bit original, the originals. Like, do something like, I'm like, oh, like, I'm after, I wanted to feature you because of X, Y, and Z, or something, I don't know, just something besides that. Or it could have been simply something of, like, I forgot, I want the city, or, then again, that's still not original because that's freaking Marcel. But, like, I don't know, something more original that has to do with something with the hollow. And just say, like, oh, I just want to give you because you're just, you know, the next big player besides Marcel was kind of basically almost stronger than you. And also, like, yeah, this bill even alive in Marcel. I really thought that he was really going to stab him with the Unpapa Dude and I felt Klaus was going to do that to him, but apparently he didn't. It's like, oh, I'm going to do it to freaking uh, Sophia. But back to Mar um, Sophia here, uh, if she supposedly has this weapon that can kill Klaus in an instant, like, again, villains, why do you announce this? And why don't you just simply just kill your damn freaking kill the protagonist right then and there no i'm just gonna taunt with this you know freaking roseberry i'm um, trying not roseberry this um rose um this rose bush whatever i'm um, trying whatever i think she had around there um, i'm like you could just kill klaus and be done with it <laughs> kill klaus but then like oh but broke even if she did kill him like there was no chance he's probably gonna even find freaking marcel and if they do well whole bunch of spells and take you almost how long is even breaking my family probably gonna get revenge on you i'm like no because if your family comes near me i'm just gonna use the freaking um whatever um rose whatever thorn bush thing whatever charm whatever jewelry thing and just kill them with it too so it's like uh come at me bro but i don't know like again uh she's just getting very annoying hope she dies probably next episode but if she dies it's just gonna bring her back to life but hey, like or dislike the video, comment on what you guys do on the episode, and if you're new, please subscribe. I'm the Bro Black Man 94, and I am signing off.